Welcome back to CarWow 787 if you're new here. We break down everything about semi-trucks, engines, repairs, and trucking life in general. Whether you're behind the wheel every day or just a diesel enthusiast, we're here to bring you valuable info you can use out there on the road. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss a video from us. Alright, let's dive in. Today we're talking about the Detroit ISX CM570 engine. Now before we even get into the details, let's clear something up real quick. Some people confuse the ISX with Detroit, but in fact, the ISX CM570 is a Cummins engine, not Detroit diesel. However, it's not uncommon to see a Detroit diesel-powered truck right next to a Cummins disc out there, so sometimes that naming confusion gets around. For this video, we're focusing strictly on the Cummins ISX CM570 engine, which is a key workhorse in the heavy-duty diesel engine world. It's the predecessor to many of the ISX models we see today. The ISX CM570 was produced roughly from 1998 up until around 2003 before the transition to newer ECMAs like the CM870. This engine was one of the last to feature a fully mechanical injector system paired with an electronic control module, giving it that classic diesel reliability with just enough modern control. It's popular with old-school truckers who don't want to deal with DF, DPF, or SCR systems. If you've ever driven an older Peterbilt, Kenworth, or Freightliner with one of these under the hood, you already know how solid they can be. Let's talk about what makes this engine tick. The ISX CM570 is a 15-liter, inline-six diesel engine. It came with horsepower ratings that typically ranged between 400 to 600 horsepower, depending on the application and ECM programming. Torque output was often between 1,450 to 2,050 pounds FT, which made it more than capable of hauling even the heaviest loads across the country. One thing drivers love about this engine is the low-end torque. You get that strong pull right off the line, which is great when you're taking off fully loaded from a stop. The CM570 uses a dual overhead cam design, and it's one of the only Cummins engines that does so. One camshaft operates the injectors while the other handles the valves. That split design gave better performance and improved fuel injection timing. It also reduced wear on the components compared to engines where one camshaft does everything. The CM570 was known for its reliability and longevity when maintained properly. Many drivers report getting well over a million miles before needing an in-frame rebuild. One reason the CM570 is so highly respected is that it doesn't have all the emissions junk you see on modern engines. There's no AGR, no DPF and no death fluid to worrying about. That means fewer breakdowns, fewer regans, and less downtime in the shop. The absence of emission systems also makes it easier to work on. For those of you who wrench on your own trucks, you'll appreciate how accessible everything is. You've got plenty of room around the engine, and you're not dealing with sensors every 5 inches or codes every time you start the truck. But that doesn't mean it's a perfect engine. Like any diesel, the ISX CM570 has its quirks. One issue to watch out for is camshaft wear. Because of the dual overhead cam setup, if oil changes are skipped or cheap oil is used, you could get premature cam wear. And replacing those camshafts isn't cheap. Another common issue is the injectors. While they're mechanically actuated, they're still electronically controlled, and bad connections or grounding issues can cause misfires or no fuel conditions. It's also crucial to maintain the fuel system, including filters and lift pump, to keep those injectors alive. If you're running a CM570, oil pressure is something to monitor closely. Some older engines develop oil pressure issues due to worn bearings or an aging oil pump. It's worth investing in good gauges and keeping an eye on your PSI, especially during cold starts or under heavy load. Make sure you're running the proper oil weight to most drivers go with 15 West 40 conventional diesel oil, but check your climate and service interval. Synthetic oils are also gaining popularity for these engines, especially for those running extended drain intervals. Now, let's talk about fuel economy. One of the reasons older drivers love the CM570 is its consistent MPG. You're looking at around 5.5 to 6.5 MPG on average depending on terrain, weight, and driving style. That might not sound like a lot compared to today's newer engines pushing 7 plus MPG, but remember, 
there's no DEF cost and no frequent trips to the dealer for emission service. What you lose in fuel savings, you often gain in reliability and uptime. Maintenance is pretty straightforward. You'll want to do regular valve adjustments, usually every 150,000 miles or so. That helps keep your performance smooth and can extend the life of your valve train. Regular oil changes should be done every 15,000 to 25,000 miles, depending on how hard you're running the engine and whether you're doing oil analysis. The fuel filter should be changed at the same time, and air filters need to be monitored, especially if you're running through dusty areas or doing a lot of mountain hauling. The CM570 uses a turbocharged setup, and the factory turbo is pretty reliable. But if you're running high horsepower tunes or doing heavy hauling in hot climates, you'll want to keep an eye on exhaust gas tongue. Adding a pyrometer and boost gauge is a good idea if your truck doesn't already have them. It helps prevent overboosting or overheating the turbo. Speaking of tunes, a lot of owner-operators love tuning this engine. ECM programming can wake it up big time, and there are still tuners out there who specialize in the CM570. Just be careful with power increases, the engine internals can handle it, but your driveline and transmission may not. One thing that helps these engines last is how they're built. The block is cast iron, the crank is forged steel, and the head design is robust. If you're buying a used truck with a CM570, check the in-frame history. If it's already had one done, that can be a big plus. A fresh in-frame with a new head, liners, pistons, and bearings can give the engine a second life for another million miles if done right. You might be wondering, is the ISX CM570 a good choice in today's market? The answer depends on your goals. If you're an owner-operator who values simplicity, mechanical reliability, and less downtime from emissions systems, then yes, it's a solid choice. But if you're trying to stay California compliant or need a truck that meets modern EPA standards, this engine won't cut it. Some fleets and shippers won't even let older engines on their loads due to emissions restrictions. For long-haul independent drivers running coast-to-coast, -coast, though, the CM570 offers peace of mind. You're not constantly worried about DEF pumps failing or the DPF clogging up. It's easier to troubleshoot, cheaper to fix, and has fewer computer-related gremlins. That means more time on the road and less money spent at the dealership. Let's not forget about sound. If you've ever stood next to a CM570 running through a straight pipe or a performance muffler, you know how mean this engine can sound. That throaty roar, at idle and growl under throttle just hits different. There's a reason a lot of drivers who love diesel sound prefer these older Cummins engines. They've got that deep, mechanical tone that you just don't hear in today's newer trucks. So to wrap it up, the ISX CM570 is a legendary engine for a reason. It brings together old-school toughness with just enough electronics to make it efficient and tunable. It avoids the pitfalls of modern emission systems, and if maintained properly, it can deliver over a million miles of service. Sure, it's not perfect, but for a lot of owner-operators, it strikes the right balance between performance, reliability, and cost of ownership. If you're in the market for a used truck and come across a well-maintained CM570, don't overlook it. Alright, that's gonna do it for today's video. If you learned something new or if you've driven a truck with a CM570, drop a comment below and share your experience. We love hearing your stories from the road, and your tips help others who are thinking about running this engine. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and hit that bell icon so you're the first to know when a new video drops.